Oh, hey guys, I'm Pam Dennis. Welcome to my home. Come inside. This is Ella. This is the hallway door, Victorian stained glass windows. Then over here, that is the coat stand. We have some lockers, beautiful Victorian stairwell and period features of the property. Absolutely gorgeous. I've lived here for like six years and I'm about to move back to my ideal favorite place in the whole world and I can't wait to move. So before we pack up everything, here's a little look around the property. It's built in the 1890s traditional English Victorian. So there'll be moving vlogs coming up and how to decorate in a rented property, like renter friendly decorating. You can see how organized I am, how I pack how I move. The taste in this house is more my family's taste apart from my room which I'll show you that's that's up there we'll have a look in a bit. This is not my aesthetic you'll get to see that when I move. Let's have a look at my family's home in London. <laughs> step into the living room this is the sideboard we get to fit quite a lot in there there's some faux flowers a vase oh my god these candles smell amazing and that's what it looks like and we've just got a vase from our travels this is meant to be like you keep cheese there and then some more candles and we have some secondhand sofas because we know we're moving but if i do keep one of these sofas i can actually put a cover over it i'm thinking boot clay i'm absolutely obsessed with the boot clay textures right now so that would be amazing to put a cover over this sofa this is where we relax i've actually got on my pygmy puff slippers and me and ellie just love to chill these are the gorgeous bay windows and look at all the cornices or crown molding as you say in america there is the gorgeous chandelier and we have a traditional fireplace we keep the blankets there these are the side tables with faux roses that's my graduation that's my grandparents there we watch the tv that's the amazing victorian fireplace we have this table that can actually crank up and become a dining table these roses are quite pretty they're off center <laughs> let me just fix that dining table there. This is my dog's Bootley fabric bed, which she loves. Good girl, Ella. Should we show them the rest of the house? Okay, let's go. This is the smallest kitchen in a property that I've ever lived in. I'd say it's big enough for about one person. They're also known as a butler kitchen. This is our microwave tea station. We have a nice shelf there food prep station. I think it's called the perfect pan. This pan is amazing. It's like my best Christmas gift ever. I am obsessed with my pan. I cook everything in this. I love it. It's non-stick and it's aesthetic. You know that you're getting older when you get excited for a pan for Christmas. But yeah, it does a job and it's so cute. We have all these fridge magnets. I've been to Morocco. My friend got me this because she went Morocco as well. I love theme parks. I'm obsessed. You'll see that in my channel. I went here with one of my besties. We went to Disneyland Paris. We need to go on more Disney holidays. I'm a huge Disney fan and I love museums and history. This is where I keep all the dog biscuits, dry biscuits, wet biscuits, her pads and her little spray. Gotta keep it all fresh. <laughs> This is my mum's home office. It's where she runs her mortgage company from. So let's go inside and have a look. We have a hoover there. We have not tidied away. This is how we really live for real. This is my mum's fireplace. And this used to be my desk when I worked with my mum. This is where we get all our printing and shredding done. This is my mum's desk and some more files and things. And then that's a giant filing cabinet. And as we look into that little back room there, that's a utility room. That room there, that is a closet. We just keep cleaning things in there, nothing exciting. This is our utility room. That's the dryer. Further down, that's the washing machine. And then, yeah, just a toilet, nothing exciting, laundry basket. That's just a mirror my mum designed that herself from Greenwich Market. <laughs> That's 
what the door looks like from the inside. This is the hallway. We've got these gorgeous wooden carved stairwell and these cornices. It's all about the period features like this. These really make it. It's absolutely stunning. My mum chose this gunmetal radiator. I would have gone for white. Comment below. Would you have gone for this gunmetal? Was mum right on this one? Or like me, would you have gone for maybe, you know, a white radiator there? Comment below. Let me know. So this is the flooring we've gone for. This nice pattern and plain white subway tile. It's nice, it's white, it's bright and airy. That's the bathtub, toilets, and we just keep all our toiletries on this stand. And I have actually folded these spa style, especially because you were coming over today. But I'm not a fan of all these mixed medley of colours. I would suggest to have all matching towels, preferably white. I think that would look clean and fresh. This is the stand standalone shower. I am obsessed. I love a good standalone shower. This is my laundry basket. Over here, that's me. Hey! <laughs> hey guys! This is the hallway upstairs and this gorgeous lighting. These are LED lights and you don't ever have to change the light bulbs until it dies and you'll have to take it down, but that could be about 10 years. So here's the spare room, and unfortunately we're moving, so we have started boxing up things already. It's also our laundry room. There's my spare lights when I film from home, or my laundry. I do love these gorgeous, I guess you call them crown mouldings in America, and in England we call them cornices. More boxes. The lights are from John Lewis. They're these like ice cube design, and that also has a fireplace, which you can't really see because there's all laundry in there so sorry about that but we are in the process of moving <laughs> This is the master bedroom. There's an ottoman there, a wardrobe. There's a chest of drawers, a desk, some gorgeous bay windows, a little chandelier. Things are being packed in boxes there as we speak. Gorgeous crown molding. I absolutely love this bed. I hope I get to keep this bed when I move. It's gorgeous. It's white with these little diamantes in it. A chest of drawers and a desk. I actually hope I get to keep this desk and then I can paint it, put some cute handles on it. So so that's a tip if you don't like the colour or the handles you can always paint and change the handles and it looks like a whole new piece of furniture but I think these will be handy when you move you can't really make holes in people's doors but this little hook thing will be handy for me when I move as well I can hang stuff on it <laughs> bedroom so i've gone for a millennial pink i actually have two separate wardrobes so this wardrobe is for fancier clothing this is where i edit my videos here this is my gorgeous chair this chair's from next the desk is ikea the rug i've tried to clean it and honestly the more i clean it the dirtier it gets so i would never get this rug again i think it needs professional cleaning here's some faux orchids on the back of my door i actually hung this hook and then from ikea i got these little pockets and i keep everything who needs this many sanitary towels like am i preparing for a, like a flood or something but there you go and that tiara is from one of my besties from my birthday and i just keep like face masks body moisturizer hair brushes all the things you need as a girl i watched the home edit and i was absolutely obsessed my own lazy susan to spin it round and yeah, keep all your perfumes on it there. I love a good Lazy Susan. And there's so many things in these drawers. This is like all lip stuff. And it's all highly organised. If you'd like to see a video like this about how I've organised all my drawers, let me know. And I'll show you how I've done that. That's my dog's family tree. That's my memory board. That's my vision board there for 2022. And then that's my calendar, so I'm super highly organised. It's where I watch my TV. Here is some bookends that I got from the Royal Museums of Greenwich. I don't know if they sell them anymore. So check the website or go there in person. This one is the Royal Observatory. That one's the Queen's House. And the other one I have is actually there. That's the... Cutty Sark because I love Greenwich. I'm obsessed. I'm from there. And then here's a pygmy puff. That's actually for my friend. I will give it to her. And this fireplace, I'm sorry, but how gorgeous. Look at that Victorian 
stunning work. Do you ever in your life see such details on modern buildings? The Victorians knew what they were doing. I'm such a lucky girl to have had this level of detail. Oh, my Bethany chandelier, my ceiling rose, obsessed, love it. Love this so much. That's from John Lewis. This is my sports wardrobe. It actually has all my trainers, my gym outfits. Here is my chest of drawers. I just have all my underwear and things in there. That's my window, my faux flowers, a candle that smells amazing. Amazing. When I say the most comfortable bed, I am not joking. Like this bed is everything. I added these handles to make it look a bit better. It's a IKEA single bed that pulls out into a double. If you have a double mattress, and I just keep bedding in that one, out of season clothing in that one, and then pajamas in this one. And I feel like the handles make such a difference because they had like really cheap looking handles. These are from John Lewis. And that's the Alex Nine drawers. Obsessed, love it. You keep so many beauty products in that or whatever you like. Really. Really. Comment below what you'd like to see next. Yeah, your opinion really matters to me because I'm about to move. So let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. Comment that below. I'm so excited to decorate my own place. Oh my God, moving up for the first time by myself. It's so exciting. If you'd like to see my moving series and my decorating in a renter friendly apartment and living in London, renting in London, that whole series is coming up. Subscribe below, hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this and I will see you in the moving vlogs which are coming up really soon. And if they're out already, they'll be linked below. Had a lovely time showing you round and we'll see you in the moving vlog very exciting can't wait it's gonna be me and ellie our own little adventure together me and you yummy <laughs> when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun Hold on tight Found what we're looking for 